Thank you. So I accidentally stopped the video because I'm not that talented. So this video is going to be in two parts. So we're back on our property and back we'll, in what will be the permanent pasture area. We're coming out of the burn forest area and I'm tripping on T-posts now. I tripped at least three times walking back over here. Now you can see from this angle the other side of the property and all the grasses and plants. Mommy, look, I watered. I'm watering that little tree. Oh, good. The tree probably really appreciates it. We um, have incredibly quickly draining soil here yeah, that we daddy. did not know we we're going to have. We bought this place because we needed There's acreage and a home that would sufficiently Mom. house us. Mommy. Yes, we're headed that direction. And there's Daddy, and we wanted and to Catherine and Andrew with the tractor that the people left us. Yes, yeah. we wanted to predominantly pay it and off. We also bought a tractor. Pretty sure it's public record that yeah. we bought our house for our new home for 189,500, and we put 140 thousand dollars down, and we're mortgaging um, the last. Fifty thousand dollars was like one hundred forty-two thousand we put down, but um, we're mortgaging the last forty-eight thousand, I guess, over five years, and then we will no longer have um, house payments. So that was part of the reason why we bought what we did when we did, and not something bigger. One of the trees we cutting that we were cutting down, it hit my room. Yes, it did hit your room. But it did not damage the house too bad. Yes, it damaged the, what's it called, the drain thing? Yeah, the, um, the, the, gutter, the gutter and part of the roof. But not too badly, but we have to replace the roof anyway. Yeah. But we see the far corner of the fence will be over there. There's kind of a white electrical fence post. And that's the southeast corner of the property. No, we're not, William. No, that orange post over there is our property, and the little orange flag is where the fence is going to go. We are on our property. Joe's is over there. So if you come around, that's the other corner post that they've been working on today. Well, there's, there's a hitch in the property right here. We don't own this little bottom section right here, as William was explaining. And so this section goes in a little um, zigzag. And there's these dogs that, there's one half wolf, half husky, one said, wolf! But it was half wolf, half husky. Yeah, but it's friendly, other than yeah. we're a little worried about it coming in contact with our livestock. Yes. But we um, we didn't know our soil was going to be this awesome. It drains incredibly well. There's a little bit of clay in it, but not enough to make it difficult. It, it's awesome for planting. Our neighbors all will say that they've got amazing gardens when they grow things and Isabella's over here. Okay. Catherine, are you in the hole? Arise, Catherine. Wow. I'm a mushroom. Oh, she's a mushroom. Ollie's going to lick your face. Oh, Isabella. Oh, no. Rachel's going to eat your hat, Catherine. We're taking a tour of what we've accomplished in the last three months. So Isabella and Catherine have been down here with Daddy. You can see all their... We're digging all these posts by hand because we didn't want to rent or buy an auger. And some days we have crises and can't get out here and dig. And so we didn't want to spend the hundreds of dollars. And the soil, see this is what came out of the hole. This one is particularly rocky. Most of them it's like a silty sandy clay. But Isabel, do you want to pick up just a little bit of the soil so you can see it in your hands? Or not? No. But see, it's this beautiful, it's not clay or packed, and it's sandy, rocky, but these these rocky holes are a pain in the rear to dig. William, get out so she can dig. So they've dug all these holes with my hand. They've done, I'd have to ask Lyle. I think there's 26 holes total, and they have, Isabella, how many do you have left? You have the three over there and then two more here. Two, two more here. So they have five left of the 26 that they were originally needing to 
um, dig. So here's Lyle with his lawn tractor that he rigged up to carry things all over the property. Daddy, he put hi. the hi, Daddy. He put the hitch on and the trailer, and it's been amazing because these railroad ties are incredibly heavy. And we'd never be able to get them down here by hand. I mean, it, we could, but we'd kill ourselves and it would take a lot of time and effort. And So from right here, this is the center of the permanent fencing. The permanent fencing will cut up through here toward the house where those the sheep are is the gates. And then it goes from here over there somewhere. And we intentionally did not fence all of this. Oh, there's the post. They're down there. And we intentionally didn't fence the sw a swath of area, first of all, so I can go walking still. And second of all, because we don't want to have to deal with these trees immediately and we'll mow for silage. We want to have some space that the animals don't have access to to eat so we can make silage out of it. So, anything you want to say, Lo? No, don't torture the dog. Hi, Ollie. He misses Tasha. Oh, dear. We're going to go look at a mushroom. And then we'll march back over to the house and take a look at how big the chicks are in their brooder. In the next couple days, we're going to try and get them out. Hi, mushroom. We're going to try and get them out. Whoop! There went the mushroom. Oh, no. Where'd he go? Look how big. Oh, you are so cute. Yeah, it's good too over here. Yeah. yeah. Bye. 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 You Bye. cannot Bye. imagine. Bye. Okay, stop the picture. I'm going to take a video of Isabella and Catherine and the doggies. These puppies have grown so much in the... We got them beginning of April or I can't remember. Like the two months we've had them. Month and a half. They've like doubled in size. Yeah. Matthew, did you steal the hole? Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, and the hill doesn't belong to us. You are so adorable. Oh my gosh, Connor. Connor's having. He found a rock. Yeah. He wants to eat. He's pulling my pants off. Are you ready? No, no, no. He doesn't require assistance. Take the water bottle. And I was like, oh. Ow. Just got whacked in the head. He wants down. I'm going to go put him down when we go make pig food. So that's that. That's the lower part of the pig pasture. And this area will all be sheep. We're hoping to get a dairy cow or two. And they're all going to munch this grass and turn it into energy and food. <laughs> It'll be great. So we're going to pause and go look at the chicks and the brooder real quick. And then we'll be done. So we're almost back to the garage. It takes a few minutes to wander up. But we're getting a lower view of some of the pigs. Molly over there, the larger hog who's coming towards us, the furthest one away, we just realized recently is pregnant as well as the other, the kind of brown lump thing over there, the biggest one on the right is Olivia who's pregnant and very pregnant. Thor, the male. Hello Thor. Molly over there is pregnant so we've got more pigs that will be coming to the farm shortly we don't know exactly when but it will happen and then we're going to bluebird we have beautiful i know i'm coming i promise bluebirds around here so we're going to get into the garage and take a look at one of the last few days of the chicks and the brooder that Lyle built. And of course, I have to record another video of Lyle's door because 
when we got here, the door was damaged. It opened out and it was blocked by snow and ice and the frame got kind of torn up and Lyle put this in, it opens in instead of out. So snow is not going to be so much an issue of it as long as we clear it. And then we come in here to the garage, which is still pretty much as messy as it has been. And we come back, oops, whoops, out of dog food. Come back to the back and we've got oh, flying chickens. Hello, ladies. What are you, shy? Seriously? Yeah. There's a Rhode Island Red, a Wynadot on the right, and a Bard Rock on the left. We'll see if anybody comes out again to say hello or come and eat. They're hungry chickens. There's some Wynadots poking their heads out. Um, Rhode Island Red right here. Let's we'll see if any of the Araucanas come out. Everybody's hungry. I'll have to give you guys more food. There's 59 of them in here. There's an Arcana kind of coming forward on the left. They look like little hawks. But um, they, it's time. They're feathering out. They need to be outside. And so we're going to have to take a break from our fencing, which has been priority number one to get a temporary enclosure up for them because we're not ready to build their coop. Yeah. Their coop will eventually be in the permanent fencing. Come on, little Arcana. See, here's a barred rock, two barred rocks, Rhode Island red. Some, there's an Arcana. Hello, hockey. And a bunch of Rhode Island reds. But the Arcanas are playing hard to get. So you can see she's the biggest, oh, I scared him. See the biggest one. We have one over here. When we let the ducks out, we realized this is our only light-colored arcana, and her tail feathers were coming in. She was bleeding, and they all decided they were going to try and eat her. So she has been in the previous duck brooder by herself, and she's doing much better now. But we've got to watch the rest of them for the same thing because as they're feathering out, they will peck on each other, especially as it's so tight in here. So it really is time for them to leave their brooder and be moving on. So we're going to turn off the video in just a minute, say goodbye, and then get the chicks some more food and go give the sheep some hay. So that's what we've done in three months, inside and out, mostly. This is, we still haven't gotten to most of our stuff. So anyway, that's that.